Good morning, friends. Good morning, good morning. It tastes like pretty. When is it not bad? <laughs> Good morning friends, me again. <sighs> happy Monday, well happy Friday because I seem to be uploading on Fridays. Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Andy, I live in Johannesburg and welcome to a work week in my life. It is currently 8.20 in the morning and I'm heading off to work now. I just had to make a pit stop because there was an issue with my PO box key. I just wanted to start the vlog off, say good morning. Hopefully you guys have had a fantastic week. My weekend was great. It was really chill. Yesterday we went to actually go see the new Spider-Man movie, which was nice. We've waited to go and see it because we didn't want to go during the festive season when all the cinemas were super full. And yesterday there was like six people in the cinema, so it was great. I really enjoyed the movie. Cried so much during the sad parts. It's really cool. But yeah, let me stop short. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, but let me shut up now and drive to work before traffic gets worse. Currently 1 p.m. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but my boss is actually not here this week. She'll be back on Thursday, but today, tomorrow, and Wednesday she won't be here. So myself and my colleague are in the office working on some stuff. We have a lovely long list of to-dos that we need to cross out. Uh, right now I have two things crossed out, but a few of these things are time consuming. Right now I'm working on our social media content calendar and I'm also going through previous webinars we had and seeing if I can take some clips out of that that we can share as their own social media posts. It's time consuming, but I gotta get it done. Just got home and I stopped by the store. This is everything I got. I went to the fruit and veg, got raspberries, blackberries, cherries and strawberries. And then went to spa to get some more soda stream flavors. Got a Diet Coke ginger beer and we needed toothpaste and got some tuna. And then these are just breakfast croissants for us for tomorrow morning. Making ribs for dinner and luckily I marinated them before I left for work this morning so Keegan just stuck them in the oven about an hour ago. It's now almost five and I'm just gonna cut up the veggies and everything to go with the ribs. I think we'll just do like roast potatoes and and I need to prep this fruit. I need to wash it and just put it aside. And then I'll probably spend about an hour editing tonight. Today's workday was good. It was quite chill. I had my list of things to do. There was nothing to distract me. And I just tried to tick off as much as I could. I go in again tomorrow to continue with my list. And I'm not going in on Wednesday, but I'll go in again on Thursday. And on Thursday, we have a big meeting with a private company. So I'll also need to just double check that our presentations and everything for that meeting are sorted. I walk into the and the reality of the situation, including myself, it's Tuesday morning now. Good morning. Having my cup of coffee. I'm also having some mango pieces before I head out. My alarm went off at half past six and I was like, no, five more minutes, please. Um, and something else came up that I have to finish at work today. So my energy just went bleh. It's just one of those menial tasks that I really don't feel like doing, but I know I have to do. But such is life. I'm gonna finish my coffee. And just grab the last of my things and head out the door. So, today my colleague Vinny bought us lunch. Yeah. Say hi, Vinny. Hi. <laughs> this is Vinny, everyone. So, he got us, where did we get this from? Nene's. Nene's place on Uber Eats. And we both got gotas. Which type of gota did you get? Did you get the same as me? Mm -mm. Nene's. Nene's place. Just, just say Nene's. Or what was my thing called? It was the king. King Ray only. Why not King Ray with egg? With egg. Oh. I don't know which one is which. Oh, this one's yours. I see an egg. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so this is my kota. I know it looks, it looks horrendous, but trust me, it's probably gonna taste amazing. I see there's chips there, a rib burger, some cheese. There's 
There should be gherkins in there. I don't know what else. I can't really see. But this this looks like a heart attack waiting to happen. Vinny's one is the exact same, but his has an egg. So. Yep. Hopefully it tastes good. Try and get the extra protein. I'm gonna try this. Look at the size of this thing. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's my review. I give you a thumbs up. Today I dropped my colleague Vinny off on my way home and we decided to stop at a charity store and I bought the most random thing. I got a scale. I know, it's incredibly random, but the one that I currently have is a digital one and it's been like acting up i replaced the battery and stuff it's still acting up like one day it says i weigh 55 kgs the next day it says i weigh 95 kgs which <laughs> is just very confusing and i'd really rather have a scale in my house that tells me my real weight also i really want to get back on my health kick for the year i feel like i've been taking it way too easy the fact that i had COVID over christmas i didn't want to like jump straight into working out again or anything like that but i want to know my starting weight so that i can really get into the mentality of trying to lose some weight but yeah i just got home it's five o'clock now and i'm about to go inside we're gonna have leftover ribs for dinner so i don't have to prep any dinner but i do want to finish editing a vlog calling it an early night because I struggled so much to wake up this morning I feel like I am in desperate need of a good night's sleep helpful everything I pull out that I want to get rid of he's like oh no keep that keep that wear that not helpful okay so this is the selection so far I want to take photos of all of these things and post so that I can try to get rid of all of them here's the cruise dress this is the jumpsuit the long skirt this green dress doesn't really fit me very well because it's a button down like all the way in front and I've only worn it once since I got it as well so we got the leather jacket. I think I'll keep my black leather jacket and get rid of this one because I've also never really worn this one in the years I've had it. Um, it was given to me by my sister though. And then this dress, I've never worn. I've never found a reason to wear it. I do love it and I feel like one day something will come up where I should wear it. But at the same time, it's, it's okay because it's boob tube so I'll never actually feel comfortable wearing it. But I think it's so cute. Then I have this dress as well, which I don't think I'll actually wear. This is a is a like casual t-shirt dress, but it's a bit short on me. And then yeah, this one I think I wanted to wear like to the pool one day. Wore it once, never again. So that's the selection. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm just getting ready. I love how people always say, "Oh, I'm just doing my morning routine." Do we really have a routine in the morning here? Yeah, absolutely not. I'm making my coffee and. I just made myself breakfast, which is not something I usually do, but today I felt like it mostly because my bananas were ripe and I really wanted one. So I'm having a bowl of oats with some strawberry yogurt, strawberries, raspberries and banana. I'm also currently moving all of my video and media and stuff, whatever I can from my laptop onto my external hard drive because I'm running out of memory on my laptop and it's slowing it down and making it more difficult for me to edit. The OOTD is of course a t-shirt and jeans. This I actually thought was a dress. I was gonna get rid of it yesterday, but it's a t-shirt. I kind of just tuck the front in and let the back hang here over my bumpkin. And then of course the white sneakers, black jeans, sorted. So today I'm actually doing another flight attendant related thing. I don't have to go into work today. Today I don't need to go into the office, so instead I've scheduled to do a different recurrent. I have to do my dangerous goods recurrent. It is another module in my license that is expiring. It's actually expiring next month, but I'd rather get it done this month so that I know that like January everything is done 
and I'm current for the next year. I don't have to worry about something else next month. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've never been to Cranfield before. This is my first time, but it is closer to me. It's not in the East Rand, it's in the Four Ways area. So it's much closer to me to drive to for like one day, you know? It's dangerous goods is usually it's about like what passengers can and can't bring on board like and why they can't bring it on board and if they can bring it on board under what circumstances can they do that we're going to be learning about that today well it's recurrent i'm going to be relearning about that today and getting tested on it and usually dangerous goods is an open book exam because there's just so many different things that you need to remember um yeah class starts at nine it is 8 11 so i should get going <laughs> It is one o'clock and I just got home. We had about two to three hours worth of DG recurrent training. It's really not a lot to go through. And then we had a quick exam with 25 questions. I got 100% as did probably everyone in the class because it was an open book exam, as I explained earlier. But yeah, it was a really great day. It's one o'clock, like I said. Because it's so early in the day, I think I'm actually gonna go to the gym. This is going to be my first time at the gym in 2022 and it's 26 days into the year. Which, I mean, I don't, I don't put pressure on myself about like, oh, when in the beginning of the year did you go to gym or whatever. But I think it's about time. I think I'm ready and I actually want to go. Like, I, I got excited when I thought about it. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page What a much needed and welcome workout. I was knocking on death's door for a moment there. I haven't worked out in a long time. I did a 10 minute full body workout and my legs were like, nope, <laughs> nope, we are cramping up. <laughs> so, and then I did 30 minutes on the treadmill. I didn't do 12, 3, 30. It was a, like a 10 incline instead of a 12. And I was going a little bit slower than usual, but you know what? You gotta start somewhere. It was a very welcome workout. I feel good now that I got some activity done. I got some steps in there. And now I can go home, do some computer work. I'm probably gonna make a curry for dinner, probably like a fish curry for dinner or something like that. And then take it easy tonight, but tomorrow it's back to the office at the NGO. So, but look at that, I'm still sweating. I'm still sweating though. Like, yo, guys, my body is in such shock. Okay, we've made it to Thursday. It's 8 a.m. exactly and I'm about to leave. As soon as we get in, we have a meeting at nine with a hopefully big client. I mean, we should get the job. This is like our fourth meeting with them. And I feel like if they weren't going to hire us, they would have stopped at like the first meeting. I don't know, we'll see. It was raining the entire evening and well into the night and it was just a beautiful sight. <laughs> What is up you guys? It is almost 1 p.m. I just got the newsletter that I was working on back from our graphic designer and it looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited. It's my first company newsletter. It's the NGO's first newsletter. It's looking very good. I'm very excited. Uh, we just need to test it out and then I think we'll actually send it out on Monday. How cool! I'm so excited. Good morning friends, happy Friday. It is 11.30. I'm only now leaving the house to go to the gym. I just want to do 30 minutes on the treadmill again, taking it easy. My legs hurt so badly from going to the gym the other day, but I know that they won't get better unless I just go back. Just back to where it all started. <laughs> and then afterwards I'm gonna pick up lunch for Keegan and the cleaning lady on my way home and spend the rest of the day getting started with my studies actually for this year. I have my 
my local food lovers market on whatsapp because when the pandemic started and we were in level five lockdown two years ago already wow it's been so long they had this sort of grocery pickup thing you'd add them on whatsapp send them a list of your groceries that you want and then you go pick it up and pay so i still have them on my whatsapp and i was just looking at their status on whatsapp and of course their status stories thing on their whatsapp is all of their specials and they've got so many good specials today i'm definitely gonna go there i was already gonna go there anyway to pick up lunch for us but now it's pretty much confirmed that i'm gonna spend way too much money and you know what i'm okay with that because in case you're new here and you don't know this about me i'm obsessed with food lovers market and i'll make any excuse to go there i did not show you guys my grocery haul because the cleaning lady was busy in the kitchen when i got home and i'm just super awkward about vlogging in front of people who've never seen me vlog before but i just got the basics you know grapes berries i got some stuff to make a cheese board because tomorrow i want to do like a little cheese board picnic situation it's gonna be a good time but i picked up lunch are we surprised it is chicken noodles i just threw on some sesame seeds hot sauce and jalapenos on top of it and then wow i got this drink before christmas even it's just been chilling in my fridge but i guess it's a good thing for me to drink now because it's a protein drink and i'm too lazy to make myself a protein smoothie since i just came back from the gym but i got this protein to go oh it matches my outfit <laughs> it's got collagen in it and whey protein it is tropical flavor with eight grams of protein in it and it was like what 12 13 rand for a can so if it tastes good and i like it this might be my new favorite drink I feel like I should have shaken it before I tasted it though. It tastes like protein. Anyway, I'm about to get comfortable and start getting into some schoolwork while I have my lunch. But before I do that, I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. It's been a great week. It's been a random vlog. I know there's been no sense or theme to it, but which one of my vlogs isn't like that? Thank you all so very much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed just spending an average week with me <laughs> please have an awesome weekend be safe spread good vibes and be kind and i'll see you all on the next one bye guys